Why is nationalism a necessary concept in modern America? Well, American nationalism. Of course. What is our identity? Just as if all white people have something in common. Black gang members. Black Lives Matter and the gangs. Right now you have a bunch of criminals that love Black Lives Matter as an organization. I think maybe it's because Black see there aren't a lot of blacks. But there are problems in the African-American precincts, especially in the inner city. However, the problems have little to do with white people. Of illegal aliens. Not all immigrants are the same. As long as the border remains open and unsafe to all of us here in this great country, some are worth admitting, others are not. They're going to keep coming, and they're going to keep coming, and they're going to keep coming. An unrelenting stream of immigration. But why? Well, Joe Biden just said it to change the racial mix of the country. That's the reason, to reduce the political power of people whose ancestors lived here and dramatically increase the proportion of Americans newly arrived from the third world. The Democratic Party is trying to replace the current electorate, the voters now casting ballots, with new people, more obedient voters from the third world. Americans are the main point. That's always true, no matter what the issue is. Equity is racism. As we see the right grow in America and we see the effectiveness of demagogues like Trump. You know what I am? I'm a nationalist, okay? I'm a nationalist. The media is adapting to the market. Mexico sends its people. They're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. We have the extreme center, people who are committed to neoliberalism and corporate values. And then we have people on the far right who are committed to fascism. We've seen the growth of fascism in the United States, and Fox News is moving further and further to the right. Look at what you've got now. You have protesters inside the Capitol building uh, in, an, in an, quite an incredible uh, act. People had actually breached the building and were walking through the rotunda. Obviously, this is a huge victory. People are emboldened by these demagogues. Look at my African-American over here. Look at him. The consequence is that now media outlets are parroting this and reinforcing and validating these views. And the reporters, Chris Wallace is one of them, but it's representative of a larger trend in media where he could no longer be complicit. On both sides, sir, you said there was hatred, there was violence on both sides. Uh, are, well, I do think there's blame, the yes. I think there's blame on both sides. You look at, you look at both sides. I think there's blame on both sides, and I have no doubt about it. Corporations who have a vested interest in the status quo being maintained are investing in these media companies because when we have the extreme center fighting the far right, we don't have a lot of room for people making progressive change, for people changing how corporations exploit the people and how corporations have hijacked our democracy and run our government on behalf of their interests instead of the people.